Did you know, as an employee of the California Community College System, you have access to the pro version of Confer Zoom? If you have utilized Zoom before, then you are already familiar with the amazing features Zoom has to offer. Zoom can be useful in a number of contexts. You can use it to host committee meetings, virtual office hours, or if a student needs some just-in-time support on an assignment. Zoom has enabled me to pop on and have a quick 15 minute chat with a student who was struggling with an assignment or a piece of course content. For the purpose of educators in the California Community College System, we will be using Confer Zoom. This will allow you to access the benefits of the free pro account. Setting up an account is easy. Navigate to conferzoom.org, select sign up. Fill out a short form. Make sure to use the email account found in Canvas. This is very important when we talk about integrating Confer Zoom with Canvas later. If you already have a Zoom account, you might need to get some assistance in merging the two accounts. Help contact information is found under the support menu. I've experienced rapid responses to email inquiries. Once you have signed up, you will receive a confirmation email to activate your account. This typically comes within a few moments. Once you have your account, you can go into the guides and learn more about Zoom. Once you have signed in and created an account in the meetings settings, there are many options you can customize. I encourage you to explore these different options and make Confer Zoom customized to your preferences. Now you have an account, let's take a deeper dive into options of using Confer Zoom for virtual office hours. A simple way to use Confer Zoom for office hours is to grab the link for your Zoom room and let students know when you will be available in that room. You can find this link under the profile menu options. You can send this link out via announcement, Canvas inbox, traditional email, or any other way you find fitting. We can also integrate Confer Zoom into Canvas. Navigate into the Canvas course you want to create the Confer Zoom meeting. The first thing you will need to do is move the Confer Zoom menu option up into the viewable navigation menu. Go to the settings. navigation and drag the confer zoom menu to the top navigation column this is how you can also clean up your navigation menu for other options you aren't using in your course items in the top menu are viewable by students items in the bottom menu or not you should only have viewable the menu options you are currently using in your course once you have cleaned up your navigation menu, including putting Confer Zoom on the top menu, hit Save. Now you will see the Confer Zoom menu option on your course navigation menu. The first thing you must do is sync your accounts. Go into the Confer Zoom screen on the top right hand corner in very small letters, you see the account settings option. From here, you will have the option to sync your accounts. My accounts are currently synced, and so this is the menu option I have. If you experience an issue, contact the Confer Zoom Support Center at client services at CCC confer.org. Go back to calendar. This is taking you back to your Zoom calendar, not your Canvas integrated calendar. Once you have synced your accounts, you can easily schedule a meeting for a future time or begin a meeting now. If you would like to use the Confer Zoom integration with Canvas to schedule an office hour, you will need to copy the meeting information and post it to the other courses. Let's schedule a meeting. Schedule more events. We'll schedule one for today at 10 o'clock. And schedule. You can see that because this meeting is starting within 10 minutes, it says host. If I were to change this for a future date,
it says prepare. Let's go in to generate the link to post so our other classes have access to this meeting. There are two ways to do this. You can simply select the gear icon and invite guests. This will allow you to generate a link which can then be copied for students to use. I prefer to copy the entire invitation. Choose prepare. Open Zoom meetings. You can see that I have my camera options open when I first start the meeting. From here, choose Invite. You will have many different options. I choose Copy Invitation. This creates a full invitation with many of the different options available to students. Once you have that invitation copied to your clipboard, choose End Meeting in the bottom right-hand corner. Don't worry, this will not end the scheduled meeting in the future, it just ends the current session you've started. Remember, your invitation information is on your clipboard still. Go to the course you want to copy the invitation to. This would be the course that you didn't create the confer Zoom session. I'm going to use the same course. I'll post mine to announcements. You can see all of the new options generate for the student. You can also see that it says you are invited to a Zoom meeting now. You can simply delete this or you can add in when the scheduled office hour will be. With this link, students from any class can access the Confer Zoom conference. Not just the students within the course, con the Confer meeting was scheduled. I encourage you to spend some time doing a test run to familiarize yourself with the options available in a Confer Zoom conference. The Office of Instructional Innovation is happy to do any trial runs. Just send me an email, amanda.tainter at readlycollege.edu. That's it for this week's Find Out Friday.